Kayla with the Twinsburg Library. We're going to learn how to use water-based markers to imitate traditional watercolors. When this video is released, Twinsburg will also be providing a limited amount of free craft kits, so you can follow along with me. If you have these supplies at home, or if you'd like to get your own supplies, please feel free to as well. I'm going to show you what supplies we provide. Then I'll show you some techniques that can you use with them. And then we'll finish up with a few examples of watercolor paintings and a short painting demonstration. If you pick up a craft kit at the Twinsburg Public Library, you're going to receive almost everything that you need, except for a couple things. They're very easy to find around the house, so don't worry. What you will receive are some markers, a brush, mixing palette, and some watercolor paper. Additionally, you're going to want to find a cup of water, because you're going to use water for everything, it's watercolors, a rag to wipe your brush off in between colors, and a pencil if you want to draw things. Alright, the first technique that we're going to go over in watercolor terms is called wet on dry. What you're going to do is you're going to just put the ink down on the paper, however shape you want. And then, we're going to take our watercolor brush, dip it in some clean water, and what it does, it spreads the pigment around the paper. Now, it's going to dilute the color a little bit. Some markers have multiple colors in them, so it might separate into different colors, but that's the beauty of watercolor. Just use more water, you get a thinner coat or a lighter color. We'll do it one more time with another color. Let's see. Let's grab this purple. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you again. Put your ink down. I'm going to wipe my brush off in between because it's a different color. Just clean it off in the water. Take some clean water and just rub it on there. If you apply the water to the ink, it'll spread real nicely. And that's how you do wet on dry. This next technique that I'm going to show you is called dry on wet. First, we're going to wet the paper with clean water. Please make sure it's clean. Get it nice and wet. We're going to put our brush aside for a moment here. We're going to take one of our markers and what we're going to do is drag it through the wet paper here. Now what it's going to do, it's going to spread the ink out wherever the water was. It's going to give your paper, or your painting I should say, a nice texture. Alright, our final technique that I'm going to show you today is mixing. That's why we provided a mixing palette in the craft kits. Now, I did this a little earlier today. See how these two colors are totally different from this color? Well, I initially used both of these colors to mix this color. Now, I'm going to try to imitate it as best as I can for you to see. Now, what I'm going to do I'm going to scribble a little bit of this color on here. And then I'm going to take the green, kind of scribble it close to that. And then you always want to have a clean brush for this. I'm going to dip, get that in the frame. I'm going to dip my brush into there. Just a little bit of water. You don't want a whole bunch. You don't want to dilute it too much. We're going to mix it on our mixing paper here, our little palette, and then put it on 
down here. Now, sometimes it's hard to get the same exact color. If you want to use a lot of one mixed color, I would mix a lot of it. But if you're just doing little uh, fun experiments with this, that should be enough. Okay, so there's mixing colors. Now I'm going to show you a couple examples of watercolor paintings. Um, this one was done a high quality watercolor paper with high quality watercolors. That's our mascot page. Um, I did this a while back. Um, but this one, let me zoom out here. That one was done with Crayola markers. <laughs> 